Many voters in Warren are frustrated tonight by a battle over counting absentee ballots. Under a new state law, that process can now begin more than a week before Election Day. But Warren is not taking advantage of the head start. Tonight, 7 News Detroit's Ruta Olsenida is raising the voice of some who fear Michigan's third largest city could be among the last to report election results. That 2022 state law allows for cities with a population of over 5,000 to count their absentee ballots eight days early. But you have to let the state know you want to do that 28 days before, which the city of Warren did not. Things happen. Tabulators break. Things get jammed. You don't want that on election day. You want to take care of those problems before. Anthony Ferlini has held his position as Macomb County Clerk for four years, and he's been looking forward to this upcoming election for just as long. He knows all eyes are on Macomb County. Macomb is the epicenter of elections this upcoming November. So he was frustrated to learn that the Warren City Clerk, Sonia Bufa, refused to take advantage of a state law that would allow her team to start tabulating absentee ballots early. Anthony says all of the large cities in the county accepted and will start counting early, but the largest city will not. He says when all of America watches the votes come in, it means they may have to wait for Macomb County even longer. It's going to be razor thin. Razor thin. We don't need to be the last one reporting and, and, and us be the county that determines the presidential election. Anthony says he has tried to meet with the city clerk about this with no luck. And the secretary of state tried to uh, broker a meeting too, which uh, didn't happen. And we tried meeting her as well. We reached out to her office, her cell, over email to see if she could explain why she didn't take up the state's offer to count early, but haven't heard back. At a Warren City Council meeting Tuesday, council members sharing their frustrations. We certainly don't want our, our um, votes to be the last one coming in at 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, Warren has been very slow with election results. Um, we understand that the clerk has refused to do early voting. Um, and the time has passed for her to tell the state she would be doing that. Just how closely will people be watching? Just how important is it to have those votes being on time? Uh, it's very important. Everybody, that's all anybody's going to want to do is see what the results are. And so Warren residents and the rest of the country will have to sit and wait for those results to come in. In Warren, I'm Rudolph Sineda, 7 News, Detroit. Michigan Secretary of State says over 1 million people have submitted absentee ballots and 5,100 cast their ballots in early in-person voting. That's about 16% of the state's active registered voters. We want you to stay with 7 News Detroit on air and online as we count down to the November election. To learn more about the candidates and issues on the ballot in your community, all you have to do is head to our website at WXYZ.com.